I'm Jason Bayet and I am the coordinator of the GO project for the Dauphin and District Community Foundation for 2023. The GO project is a 160 acre field that the Dauphin and District Community Foundation is going to plant this year and uh, hopefully have a successful harvest of crop which they'll then be able to sell and provide the proceeds to the foundation. Yeah, the GO project started out of a conversation that I had with the uh, Dauphin and District Community Foundation board member Sherry Voke and she had mentioned that down in her hometown area around Elkhorn that they had done GO projects for the community foundation and so after Peter Skopoch had passed away and he left half of his estate to the uh, foundation we decided that uh, the foundation would rent the land because there were other beneficiaries in the estate so they're renting the land for 2023 and they are going to have uh, inputs donated and uh, produce a crop of canola this year. We had an opportunity for a piece of land that's often the hard part in a grow project is obtaining the piece of land that we could grow a crop on and then the proceeds from the sale of the crop could go towards the foundation to continue the great work of the foundation and to grow the foundation, the wealth that they have, and so we were able to do that with the Peter Skopoch estate. Today we are seeding the canola, so Morley Burns is our operator on the air drill and uh, he just started the opening rounds of the field, so we're putting in a crop of canola. Hopefully as the uh, summer carries on, you're out here and you can see the establishment of the crop and eventually our harvest, hopefully, which will be successful. Don Tarrant and I have uh, donated our equipment and uh, fuel and time for seeding the crop. Don Tarrant is of right side equipment and he is going to be spraying the crop for us and we have some other ag retailers who are involved. Dauphin Co-op has stepped up to the plate and provided us and organized with the inputs for seed and uh, chemicals. They've gone to a couple of places like DeKal, Brett Young and New Seed have all contributed seed for this project. So if there are people interested, we're going to need help at harvest time and they can contact myself or Don and we can uh, organize their assistance in getting the crop off in the fall. Well, I think the Dauphin and District Community Foundation, I mean, there are a lot of great organizations in our community, but the foundation is forever and, and that money that's donated to the foundation will never get spent only the interest generated thereon and you don't have to look very far around our community to find the different projects that the foundation has helped out with whether it be the skateboard park, Northgate Trails or your local hockey team. The foundation's probably touched all of those areas whether you have children, grandchildren or yourself are involved in organizations in our community. So it's uh, October 17th, 2023, and we are at the Grow Project field, and uh, it is being harvested right now. So the canola is being taken off by uh, the combines that was sent out by Don Tarrant from right side. So we'd like to thank Don for having his machines out here to get the project off the ground, and also to Mikaleski's for hauling the grain into town. That's very much appreciated. We're just here to wrap up this project. For the most part, the uh, canola was a good crop. It certainly went into bloom very well and bloomed for quite a while. It maybe ran out of a bit of moisture towards the end of summer there. It would have been nice to have one more rain, but we're very thankful for the crop that we have and the ground, and I'm sure that it will be a success for the foundation. Well, after about probably four weeks of uh, trying to get the crop off the field, it seemed like every time we had planned for the harvest, it was uh, raining. So um, I'm a bit relieved that uh, we are finally out here today harvesting the crop, and I hope that it'll be a lasting legacy for the foundation and maybe even the start of a future project for the foundation uh, going forward and trying to develop their own crop projects. You know, right from the seeding to uh, the harvest, you know, everything's been donated as far as equipment and time. So we're very appreciative of all the people who have donated to this endeavor. And, uh, you know, we started out by talking about the GO project and then we were able to get the Dauphin Consumers Co-op on board and they organized the donation of the seed for us from various companies like Brett Young, DeKalb, New Seed. We just really thank those companies for contributing and also for the Dauphin Co-op for getting that organized. And then Don Tarrant and I got the canola in the ground and got the field prepped prior to seeding and uh, right side equipment did all the custom spraying on the crop and it was all donated and they're actually here today with two combines uh, donating their time again to harvest the crop and I'd just like to thank the Mikuleski family for coming out to haul the grain on short notice it uh, is very much appreciated. We all know the strength of the foundation from the various projects that they've already contributed to and this will only enhance that and I'd probably just like to say in closing that you know this is sort of the end of the Peter Skopoch estate so it was the last project of this nature and this land will be tendered for sale here in the next month or so. It's a great way I think to remember Peter and all that he contributed to the foundation and this is just sort of a bonus in his legacy to the foundation.